Hey, good morning, everyone. It is Saturday, August 30th, 2008, and um, I just woke up, and um, this is not a bra. This is a tank top, so I don't want anybody to think I'm sitting here half naked. Um, anyway, I just woke up, and I was sitting out on my porch um, smoking cigarettes and drinking coffee, which is one of my favorite things to do. And I was just thinking about everything um, that I've been going through. And I don't know, I just, I have these epiphanies all the time. And I kind of came to a conclusion this morning that for my personal weight loss journey, <clears throat> I've just found that the farther out I get from surgery and the more I truly have to work this tool it becomes an extremely personal journey where I have always been open. I mean, from day one, um, my MySpace page is full of blogs, uh, my life pre-op. Um, once I got the approval in January, I had surgery scheduled for April. I had three months to fully prepare. I mean, with reality smacking me in the face, 100% go ahead, full green light to have surgery. <clears throat> I had three months to prepare. And you really have to get yourself in a mind frame that this is a lifelong commitment and your life is just never going to be the same again. And I really think that is so important going into this because I feel really bad for the people that, you know, post on the forums 10 days out and miserable, one month out and regretful, um, or the people that just constantly reminisce about their life pre-op, being able to eat whatever they want or how much they want. Um, I find they're the ones that struggle the most um, for whatever reason. Like I said, it's a personal journey, but I think I may have gone through the same thing had I not you know, prepared myself, but the farther out I get, truly, it just becomes more and more personal. I find that when I was two months out or three months out, all the way up to four months out, I would tell the world I had gastric bypass surgery. I mean, I would meet a stranger on the street and somehow I would manage to work it into the conversation. Um, I lived life as a gastric bypass person. That consumed me. It was my every waking thought. It's how I identified myself. This last stall that I was in, being at that dreaded number, really put things into perspective for me. I, I, I'm, I'm kind of out of the stall. Um, things are starting to happen slowly but surely. But I just find that I'm not so quick to tell the world. It's my journey. As I get below that magic number that I've been stuck at my entire life and this becomes more real instead of surreal, I just want it for myself. It's mine. I own it. And I'm just going to keep it to myself. And by no means do I mean to imply that I no longer want to pay it forward and help anybody else. That's not true. I always support anyone who makes a decision to take control of their life by whatever means. <clears throat> but I just find that the videos that I update, uh, gee, this is how much I exercise. This is what I ate. This is what I weigh. This is how much I've lost. Um, I'm not getting much out of that anymore. Like I did before. Um, I just feel that there's a very personal accountability at this point. Uh, before it was for the world to know. And now that I'm in a position that I have, you know, 30 something pounds to lose, that puts me in a category of probably every other red blooded American woman out there. Gastric bypass or no gastric bypass. Um, 
The farther out we get from surgery, the more food you can eat, quantity-wise, a wider variety of food you can eat. Um, <clears throat> you are feeling more comfortable in your skin post-op. You're feeling more normal. And I have to say that I just don't see myself as the gastric bypass girl anymore. I feel that I was so blessed with this surgery. This surgery did exactly what I wanted it to do. It helped me lose the bulk of my weight to put me in a physical position for me to take responsibility for the remainder. So although I am four and a half months out, at this point I've made a decision that my surgery has done its job. The tool is there. It is now time for me to work the tool and use it to my greatest advantage. And at this point in time, I have 100% personal accountability. I no longer rely on the fact that I had surgery. I definitely relied. The surgery did amazing things for me. And yes, I followed the rules. Yes, I did exercise, not as much as I could have, but I did exercise. I, I followed all the rules. So I feel that I was definitely a participant in the bulk of that weight loss, but I really give the credit to the surgery. And that's a big reason why I don't celebrate where I'm at right now scale-wise, because I don't feel as if I have earned it. It's time for me to feel proud. And I think if I feel proud and I feel that I earned it, I think the reality of it all will become much more clear. And I have no idea what goes through anybody else's minds. I have no idea what the reasons were they had surgery, what they're trying to accomplish, how they got there, we're all different. And I can only speak for myself and I, I'm actually excited to take this personal responsibility. I made an appointment with my nutritionist for next week and basically I said to her on the phone, you know, Courtney, I want you to treat me like any other woman. I want you to treat me like I didn't have gastric bypass surgery because in reality any woman that is dieting she's going to eat protein first low carb low fat my extreme is no sugar which I don't dump so I could have sugar if I wanted to I just live the life of no sugar Small meals, more frequently, keep your blood sugar level, and exercise. How is that any different than any other woman out there? My only difference is I malabsorb. And I take vitamins and supplements for that. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's where I'm at. I just asked my nutritionist to treat me like any other normal woman. I talked to my therapist about this. Um, she's not so convinced that my surgery is finished doing what it's doing. She thinks I'm a little premature. Um, there's no evidence to back that up yet. But I think for me mentally and emotionally, that's the way I need to approach this from here on out. This is me, Jody, the regular average 30-something-year-old girl who's trying to lose some weight. That's it. I am no longer the gastric bypass girl. I can go to a restaurant and sit down and eat just like any other woman can eat. I probably can eat more than my stepmother allows herself to eat at this point. So that's where I'm at. Um, I am going to come out of my little fog and be more active, but I... I'm just going to be taking a different approach and um, I'm going to spend some time today catching up on videos because I have just been very hard at work on myself this week and I need to catch up on everybody. So excuse the hair, excuse the crazy makeup. Um, all right, guys, I love you all and I'll see you on the flip side.